Salman Soz, you agree with the BJP uh, spokesperson? They must be spoken. Uh, okay. Gaurav, uh, to be honest with you, I, I haven't heard your question exactly right, but I did hear uh, the BJP spokesperson talk about uh, the, uh, the note ban or, or the 2,000 rupee kind of, uh, currency recall and the Prime Minister's popularity in Australia. Uh, when, when the Prime Minister of India goes to uh, any foreign country, he represents India, and in that sense, in, India is an important country, and the Prime Minister is uh, respected in foreign lands, not because uh, he's some individual, but because he uh, represents all of India. Uh, uh, may, may I remind you uh, that uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh in 2005 spoke to the Joint House, uh, uh, Joint uh, Houses of uh, Congress in, the, in Washington, and he received a standing ovation. And, by the way, he was the first Indian Prime Minister to be invited by an American president for a state dinner. Uh, so these things happen. But, you know, uh, I'm glad that the prime minister is, uh, you know, is uh, with the Indian community uh, in Australia, and he's getting a good reception there, very warm reception. He must be feeling good. He did get a lot of, uh, get a, a very warm reception in Karnataka as well, but unfortunately that did not translate into a victory for the BJP. Uh, and there are reasons for that, because the reasons are that okay. people, I think, it is my view, that uh, people ultimately want improvements in their living standards. And, you know, okay. I know the Prime Minister talked about how India is number one in milk production, India's uh, banking sector is really uh, strong, etc. But may I remind the audience uh, that India was already number two and catching up to America in milk production in 2014. May I remind the Prime Minister that Indian banks, public sector banks, have written off 121 billion, B for billion, dollars of loans in the last five years. Maybe he should not be talking about the banking sector in a foreign country. And by the way, when Sayed you go to a foreign country, to I think the, oh. No, no, let me just finish. One go final on. thought. Can I make one final thought? I will thought? respond of to course, that as well. Of course. Go on, sir. Salman Soz, please complete your point. Just sir. one final thing. And you know, again, to our friend from the BJP, to the audience, I just want everybody to note that this is an Indian Prime Minister. He's not bigger than India. He's part of India and he represents India. If he gets Izzat, respect, it is because he's our Prime Minister, he's India's Prime Minister. Fair not enough. because he's bigger than uh, the country. But did anybody say he's bigger than the country? Or is that... Uh, uh, he thinks... Is, is that... Sometimes, I, sometimes, Gaurav, I feel that he thinks he's bigger than the country. Sometimes feel I feel that the media thinks. makes him out to be bigger than the country. You feel he thinks. Fair enough. I, I, get... think, I think let me respond okay. to that. Sayyid Zafar Islam wants to respond before I bring in Ambassador Sajjan Hart. <laughs> Go on. It, 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 is, it is not him who thinks. He always thinks the country is the highest... Everyone should prioritize country first. And he always prioritizes his country first. That is something which is very uh, 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 is evident in last in nine years because he is always from every platform he's talking about he's spoken about India as a country the country he represents as a prime minister today also he's he's talking to addressing the people of India or uh, uh, in, uh, people who have uh, even uh, from India but they have taken citizenship of Australia but he is talking about how India has grown in the last few years. Okay. India is number one in many uh, uh, spaces, and also more important, most important, that he is also talking about how India is catching up with the rest of the world. And okay. he also said that, but uh, uh, the la next 25 years, where India wants to be. Ambassador I mean, this Sajjan Har, this political sniping apart. Prime Minister. Okay, uh, L you know, let's take this point by point. Ambassador Sajjan Har, political sniping apart. Are there? Yes. Are there? tangible takeaways from the Prime Minister's visit and let's uh, for the moment focus only on Australia because some may argue that this was a, a photo op and an event, a great community event but what is it for India in this? No, I think there is a huge lot uh, for India in this, you know, after all India and Australia are, uh, we have just signed uh, a trade deal, a free trade agreement, that's very important. We've been working on it for many, many years, and we've been able to come to that uh, and sign that. So, you know, in, uh, Australia and India are very strong economic partners, are very strong trading partners, and it's not only in the area of economy and trade, it's also in the area of uh, 
strategic cooperation. Right. Both of them are members of the Quad. They collaborate uh, very actively in the, uh, as members of Quad. You would recall that when uh, the first uh, summit meeting was held in uh, September uh, 2021, and at that time it was decided that the Quad would manufacture 2 billion vaccines uh, to be manufactured in India with finance okay. and from uh, uh, Japan and uh, the United States, etc. Uh, in terms of uh, then, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Australia was supposed to distribute. That has been done. So there are many areas in which the two countries are collaborating. Also, we are going to see the Malabar exercises being organized. Now they are going to be organized near the coast of uh, okay. Australia. When, uh, you know, you look at the expansion... So that's a signal that goes China. out to China. That's a signal yeah. that goes out to China. 